Hello everyone. My name is Christy Nowak and I'm the Composition Librarian. And in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is some specific options to search the CSU library databases. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about three things because they're really important for being able to succeed in a lot of composition assignments and they can be a little bit confusing in our library system. I'm going to be talking about how to locate specific types of articles particularly peer-reviewed articles, popular articles, and articles from a specific date range. I'm also going to be talking about saving and citing your articles so that once you start to find cool stuff in the databases, you don't lose your work. And the final thing I'll talk about is getting the full text of articles. Sometimes in the databases, you'll find something and it looks really cool and you want to read the full article, but it can be a little tricky to figure out how to find it. So these are the three things I'm going to focus on. With that said, I will go ahead and pull up a browser. And this is lib.colostate.edu. And I'm going to go into the A to Z database list and open the database Academic Search Premier, which is the one that's typically used for composition assignments because it has a lot of different types of articles. And then I'll just go ahead and do a basic search. I'm going to look for climate change and health. And if this were my topic, I might want to get a little more specific than this. Um, I'm just going to use this as an example search because I'm going to be showing you different ways of specifying what types of articles I want to find. So the first thing I want to show you is once you get some results, you want to check the date range to see if it's what you need. Right now, I have articles dating back to 1967. Now, you might have specific requirements about date from your assignment. And it also can vary a little bit, you know, uh, you maybe can use older articles for art history than for current science. Since my topic is climate change, I don't want articles that are like, you know, 50 years old. I want articles, let's say, from the past five years. So I'm just clicking on this slider and dragging it over. I might need to click on it to, again to get it to update. And now I'm just seeing articles from the past five years. So that can be a really useful way to limit the articles you're getting. The next thing I want to show you, since oftentimes composition assignments require that you use either peer-reviewed or popular articles. If you need peer-reviewed articles, a good strategy is to click on this peer-reviewed scholarly journal limit. This isn't perfect because uh, sometimes peer-reviewed journals do publish little news items or little book reviews that aren't full articles. But this can help you get started. And then when you find an article you're interested in, you need to make sure that it's a full article that's at least a couple pages and has sections and substantial content. If you ever have any questions about that, I'd be happy to help. But that limit can help you get started. I'm going to get rid of it for a second because uh, I want to show you how to find popular articles. Popular articles are a little bit trickier. But under source types, I'm clicking on show more. You can click on newspapers and magazines, and then you'll be able to find a kind of range of popular sources. So that's a really good strategy as well. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So those are some useful ways to limit the types of articles you're seeing. The next thing I'm going to talk about is saving what you find and citing it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this article as an example. And when you click on an article, it pulls up all kinds of cool information about it, including like subject terms that you could maybe use in your search, the abstract, which is a short summary of the article. You always want to start by reading that to determine if the article is relevant. But also over on this side, there's this tools menu, which is really useful. So some things you can do, you know, you might be working on a public computer or your computer. You can email articles to yourself. So if you find one that you want to be able to track down later, you can email it. If there's a PDF available, it'll attach the PDF. You can get a citation. This is really useful. If you haven't talked about citation yet in your class, you probably will. But citation is you know, just tracking and reporting on the articles that you're using. And there are citations here in a variety of different styles. For example, here's MLA. Usually these aren't perfect, but it can help you get started so you're not making your citation from scratch. Also, there's a permalink option. If you use this link up here, it frequently will not work later. So this is a link back to this page that will work later. 
So once you start to find stuff, keep in mind, how might you want to save it? Do you want to download the PDFs? Do you want to make a you know document of the citations? Um, you don't want to lose your work. You want to have a good way to get back to what you find. I always caution students about using the save or add to folder option because it does just save it to your browser. So if you're working and you close your browser or your computer crashes, sometimes you will lose that work. So be a little careful with that. So those are some options for tracking uh, articles that you find. The last thing I want to talk about is finding full text. And this is something that unfortunately confuses a lot of students. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time on it. Some of these articles will have a PDF right here. You click on it, it'll load that PDF that you can print or save. This one is super, super easy. Um, if you don't see that, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my list. This is the part that can get confusing. If you don't see the PDF right there, there'll be an option in all of these to uh, click on this green, find it at CSU button. What this does is checks if we don't have an article in this database, if we have access to it through any other database. I found most of the time we actually do. Like this is telling me we do have the full text and it's avail available through the SD, uh, Elsevier SD Freedom Collection, which is just a company name. So all I would do is click on Elsevier SD Freedom Collection and it will redirect me to the page where I can get the PDF. So now I just look for sort of the PDF. Now I'm downloading the article. And once that loads, that'll be the PDF that I can print or save. So I still get complete access to the article. It just takes me a couple of extra clicks. If it's ever the case that you don't see any full text options, or this link doesn't work, or and this sometimes happens as a glitch, if something asks you to pay for it, you do not ever have to pay for articles you find in these databases. So if anything happens that you cannot get access to an article, what you can do is request it through CSU Fort Collins Interlibrary Loan. What that is is a free service where if we don't have access to an article, we will request it for you from another library, send it to your interlibrary loan account, and send you an email when it's ready. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this today, but basically if I couldn't get access to this article, I would just click on this interlibrary loan link and it would walk me through the prompts of submitting an article. And then once I submitted it, I'd get an article, I'd get an email when it was ready telling me to sign into my account and get it. If you ever have any trouble with that, I'm more than happy to help you. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up this page. This is my contact information if you ever need it. If you have trouble getting something, trouble using our databases, I'm happy to help, please email me. And there's also a link to the online research guide that has more information about um, research and some options for CO150. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.